Hey guys, what's going on? Kyle Krieger here. Welcome back to my channel. What's your name? I'm Taylor. Hey. This is Taylor's first video. Is it our first video? No, I've been in like three of them. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? Kyle Krieger here, and this is my new friend. What's your name again? I'm Taylor. This is Taylor. <laughs> Taylor and I are bank quarantining together, and so we decided to make a video today. You guys sent in a bunch of questions on Instagram for a Q&A. Lots of questions about relationship status, so maybe we'll dive into that. And also, this video is sponsored by Keeps, so thank you Keeps for doing that. And let's roll in for the first question. Who is your favorite RuPaul's Drag Race queen? So one of you guys is your favorite season 12 queen and then your favorite queen ever. Uh, my favorite season 12 queen is Heidi in Closet. I think she's so great, she's so funny. That's Her jokes choice. are like my jokes. Uh, my favorite queen ever, Laganja. Oh God. I love Laganja. Okay. <laughs> Why? What? My favorite queen ever, I think I would have to say Mel. Okay, good choice. My turn. My favorite season 12 queen, I guess Gigi, I think is the most yes. talented. I love our non-binary queen. And then also my favorite queen ever is probably Alyssa Edwards herself. If you could only see one color and the rest be black and white, which one would you pick? Cerulean. Why? Because it's the color of the ocean and I just feel like that beauty What would you choose? Probably something like red. Close. Ew. No, but orange. Like, no, yeah. Kind <gasps> of. Like that orange, like pinky purple color that's like. In what? The... Wait. Orange. I'm getting there. Pinky purple. The one that's in the middle of like the sunset. So whenever it's like that orange purple color, it's like. Orange and purple. But it's one color. Y'all know no. what I'm talking about. No one knows what I'm talking, talking about. about. Yeah. Harry Potter or Marvel? I have to say Harry Potter. Wow. I love Harry Potter. Okay, I'm gonna say Marvel. My dad and I have like this very special connection with Marvel. I just feel like I love Harry Potter too so much, but I just feel like Marvel is more in my heart. I'm more of a DC fan than I am. Oh! What is the weirdest thing that your dogs do? Um. <laughs> so many weird things. Gus can has the ability to stamp things. <laughs> Gus's butthole is very big, and. If I don't clean it properly, if he sits somewhere on like white sheets or something, he can leave a poop mark. <laughs> like a, a ring. Like a skin mark circle. Oh, poor thing. Speaking um, of skin marks, I saw your underwear. Uh, <laughs> no! Skin marks. Absolutely not. She's a liar. I could go get it. Go get it. I'm gonna show them. <laughs> okay, it's easy. <laughs> it's not. When Ozzy goes to the bathroom, when he poops, he can't stand still. So he poops in a circle, a ring, like a crop circle, but like a crap circle. Okay, so I get a lot of questions about Taylor and I's relationship or friendship or situationship. Taylor and I, yeah, we are dating. Taylor was a big support when I was away helping my dad, which was really nice. I kind of chalk it up as we first met when I gave you a haircut. But the reason we got the haircut is because Kyle was helping host this event. Like this like charity, charity event. event. <clears throat> and one of the raffle items was a haircut. And I really needed a haircut. And I had 15 or 20 raffle tickets. And I put them all in his bucket. And I didn't win. And I went up and expressed that I was upset that I didn't win. And I really wanted a haircut. And she gave me her number. And the rest is her story. Yep, now she's here stuck. And she's gonna move in next week. Yep. Me first. Me and Ozzy. Oh god. More dog hair. Oh god. Do you guys get judged for your age difference? <laughs> but, so this is a read. It's like 15 years difference or something. 12. 12. 12. 12 years. I will say whenever I told my mom and she asked how old you was and I said how old you were and I said 36 and she was I mean she didn't she didn't think you were 36. She thought you were like younger because you looked young. But well she was. yeah. Cheryl! <laughs> oh Cheryl, I'm mad. Um Snickers, Reese's, or Hershey's. Reese's. I have to say Hershey's because I love Hershey's with almonds and there's also so many different like Hershey's bars. Like there's like the cookies and cream, there's dark chocolate, there's almonds, there's no almonds. It's great. You don't need anything um, better so. than peanut butter and chocolate together ever. There's something better. <laughs> the next question is tips for growing your hair out. Oh God. Good luck. A hat? Have you ever grown your hair out? Um, I had like a really long like fever flow for a little bit in so, high yeah. school, but that's it. My biggest tip is to like do it from September to June so that you can wear a hat through the winter and like that can help. Speaking of hair, 
This video is sponsored by Keats. Two out of three guys are gonna experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time that they're 35. What does Keeps do? Well, let me tell you. Keeps offers scientifically proven treatments that can help combat the symptoms of hair loss. Keeps has revolutionized the way that we manage hair loss. Revolution. How? Thank you for asking. You're welcome. So basically, we used to have to go to the doctor and get a prescription from the doctor, and you have to wait in line, and you have to make an appointment, and sometimes you have to wait weeks or months, but not anymore. Keeps, you can order, you can have an online consultation with a doctor, and you can they can send you your medication. Without going, without leaving your house. Nope, can't even to leave your house. You just have to have an internet, internet connection. Okay, and you don't have to go broke um, when you're using Keeps either at managing your hair loss. Or go more broke if you're already broke because you lost both your jobs in quarantine. Uh, Keeps offers generic medication um, that you maybe have already tried. It's, everything is FDA approved, so it keeps the price low. So prevention is key with Keeps. So the sooner you start using the product, the more hair you're gonna save. Good news for you, 66% of men will experience hair regrowth with Keeps treatments. That's the good percentage. That is very good. If you guys wanna try Keeps, you can go to the description box and hit the link there. And yeah, and check them out. Is there a discount? There is. Keeps is gonna offer you guys 50% off of your first order. I'll probably do that tonight. Okay. <laughs> okay guys, so let's get back to the next question. How are you adapting to CrossFit workouts for your home? <laughs> well, <laughs> let me tell you that I have not worked out once since being, since being on lockdown. And I feel gross. Which is okay. I feel like yes, you don't have it's to okay. Work We're out. managing a traumatic experience in a worldwide crisis. Yeah. Any advice on how to deal with the toxic traits that come with gay society at times? I feel like a, like one of the easiest ways to avoid that would probably be cutting out your social media time. So just like maybe even like surrounding your social media with like more positive mm -hmm. profiles and like don't follow or be around like things that will make you feel bad about yourself or other people. Like thinking of your friendships as a garden and just kind of picking out the weeds and just like keeping all the flowers, which sounds pretty cliche, but um, it's sort of like that Marie Kondo like vibe. Like, does this person bring me joy? Yes, then keep them. If they don't, then maybe stop responding or set better boundaries about having them closer to you in your life. What point in your relationship did you know that you were in love? Probably the first day you met me. No. I mean, whenever we did our drive from Florida to LA um, with Gus and in that van, sleeping in the van every night, it was just like such a great experience. Some of like, my favorite memories with you yeah. and like just really getting like more of your personality and like... Seeing me poop. Seeing you poop. <laughs> <laughs> really that if I could see that and be in your farty van for five years, <laughs> I was definitely in love with you. Yeah. Who is your celebrity crush? Is definitely Ian Summerhalder um, from Vampire Diaries and he was Damon. It's my favorite show. My favorite like celebrity crush is probably Zendaya. I think she is like so gorgeous. When I was thinking if I was gonna do a girl or a guy, my girl was Zendaya. So. Oh, that's very nice. Don't copy me. I saved those who has prettier feet, me or Kyle. <laughs> me, obviously. <laughs> I don't and know. And I have rainbow socks on. I don't have socks on, but like. Gorgeous. Crusty. Crusty! She has like a permanent bruise on her toenail. <laughs> That's because I'm a soccer player. <laughs> In the 90s. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> um, thank you so much for tuning in today and watching. Thank you, Keeps, for sponsoring this video. Also, if you want to check out Keeps and keep your hair, then make sure you uh, click the link in the description box below. If you want to find me on social media, you can at Kyle Krieger. And if you want to find Taylor, you can too. I'll put it right here. Um, at yeah. Taylor D. Vosick. Yeah. And um, yeah, you can find us on Instagram and say hello. And leave a comment below, a thumbs up if you like this video. And make fun of Taylor in the comments. That's it. Bye, guys. Bye.